The next piece that uh, we're going to play, as you've seen the program, is entitled Me. And obviously when I saw the title, I thought, what? There's no better song title for a group of middle school musicians, right? Um, but seriously though, uh, the, the, the piece was actually written by, the, by a composer to really um, ask the, the musicians, uh, the students playing it, to really reflect on themselves, be comfortable in their own skin, um, have a positive outlook, it's really uplifting, and just being secure with who they are, because we all know that middle school can be really tough time for that. So, this is me, reaffirmation.
Our next piece is going to be called, is called Release the Kraken. And from what I understand, Kraken is a kind of a Nordic uh, make-believe, well, maybe it was real. Uh, they actually think it was a giant uh, squid, I believe. Way back in the day, a giant squid, they came across this in the ocean and they called it the Kraken. So this is Release the Kraken. years ago, and it's not just a free-for-all, they can't just come up with their own piece or whatever. I offer a few different possibilities, and then they vote on it. This was probably the closest vote we've had yet since we started doing it. Um, this song just won by a very, very small margin, um, but it is Halloween, the very famous music uh, movie theme uh, by Jerry Carpenter, and so this is our, our arrangement of Halloween.
thank you all for coming out. Thank you for supporting your, your children up here to keep, stay with music, keep doing it, keep playing in the ensemble. Um, we've, we've had a great spring, made a lot of progress, and have been able to cover a lot of diverse music, really. Um, I want to thank our administration for their support, Dr. Steinhoff, the school board of directors, their continued support of our program here at Northland. Um, our final piece. Uh, it's a really cool piece that I was so excited to be able to do with this group. Um, it's actually based on New Orleans' second line. And if anybody knows anything about New Orleans' the second line, the second line refers to the line after the primary party of, say, a wedding or a funeral. And it's come place in New Orleans, and it has been through history, to actually have a lot of music involved in those ceremonies. Yes, whether it's celebrating the marriage or celebrating the life of someone who has passed. Um, so the second line refers to the group of musicians, family, friends, uh, community members who jump in line and kind of join the party, so to speak. Um, so this song is loosely based on that style of music. Um, this is called the Country Club Stomp.
Thank you so much. That was Festival Songs by John Levitt. I explained to them that choir piece is to study choral music like Shakespeare is to study English. Like, no choral director doesn't know that piece. Uh, when Mr. Kramer came over for rehearsal day, I said, I'm sure you've played this, he said a million times. So that was Festival Songs. Next up, I'm going to invite up our student teacher who's been working with us for about a month and a half, uh, Andrew Ferentz, to conduct a Chopin Farewell, which is from the PBS Civil War documentary. Thank you. 
dear friend, the high school choir director, Ms. Nicole Moyer, and I started a tradition a few years ago um, in the springtime of combining our the middle school honors choir and the high school chamber choir for one piece. Um, the middle schoolers here went to the Sun Valley concert last night to sing this piece on their concert, and they are good enough to come here, back to most of their old stomping grounds, the night after their concert to sing it with us here. Um, this piece um, is called Prayer for Children. It was written by Kurt Bessor, and it was he came up with this when he was living in uh, Yugoslavia in the 1970s, um, during a very war-torn era in that uh, region and he kind of this came to him and he published it in the 90s and it was adapted for a choral arrangement and I was struck when I was trying to think about what piece would be good for them um, this really kept coming to my mind because there's there's plenty of war torn regions still in our world today and this really thinks about from the perspective of children and what they're feeling in those regions so we hope you enjoy praying with the children
transition to the full choir coming back on, and we will have three more selections for you to finish up the concert. The first is a song called Sisi Ni Moja, which translates to We Are One. It is an anonymous poem, um, anonymous Jewish poem found during the Holocaust. 
Um, so there's no uh, person that's attributed to, but it was just something that was found during the Holo Holocaust, which um, I believe makes this text very, very poignant. So we have a couple solos, soloists and a small group in this, so this is I Believe.